hi everyone uh, I'm here I'm gonna show you in this tutorial how to get your audio books or not rather your books from Adobe digital edition to be audible that means to be able to to have it like a program called text-to-speech to read them out loud to you so what you're gonna do is we uh, firstly you're gonna have to go to Google and download a program called capture to text download it install it run it then secondly you wanna find and find a text to speech it could be any text to speech but in this case I have downloaded the natural reader demo version which is free but you can buy it uh, so or you can use any text to speech then install it also and run it then go to your Adobe digital edition open your Adobe digital edition uh, mine is here opening it bang there we go go to your libraries of books uh, okay choose whichever book you wanna recognize into reading the pro the problem with this Adobe digital edition is that uh, because of the DRM probably you are not able to copy any of this text and copying it is disabled you can see over here under normal circumstances I will just come here and then copy and it will go into the clipboard and I'll be able to use natural reader and then I'll be able to read the text but in this case because of the DRM maybe they have disabled the copy okay so but how are we going to uh, go around this problem we are we have now installed probably I, I think you have now installed the capture to text so it should be sitting if you installed it properly it should be sitting somewhere there in your tray you can go to it click preferences and change settings and change but we are not gonna change anything we are just gonna use the defaults which says that in order to highlight the text you have to press Windows key plus C that means Windows plus C so that's exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna highlight this text and then we are gonna click Windows plus C okay what this program does uh, firstly it takes whatever you have highlighted converts it into recognizable text which is OCR and copies it into your clipboard because any other program cannot do it but this one good it can do it so you move your I wanna explain how it works you move your cursor above the text that you want to copy then you leave leave your 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 mouse don't click any buttons just now press Windows key plus C that means Windows plus C nothing happens you just pull your mouse don't left click just pull it pull your mouse and you'll see this uh, over the text that you want to convert like so then what now happens is that if you look at the top of your screen characters on your screen are starting to be recognized by this text don't click any buttons don't left click after you've highlighted over the, the text you gotta give it a minute or two for it to recognize the text as you see above there uh, how do you know it's finished you don't uh, unfortunately you can't know if it's finished you just have to uh, look at the text and see if it makes sense should take a minute or two normally and then it looks like it's done at the moment then you left click your mouse left click if you left click the red overhead goes away very important you let now you press control button on your keyboard control button pressed what that does it copies the text that you have highlighted onto your clipboard now you can use any text editor 
uh, or any text editor will use Microsoft Word in this case and then we say okay Microsoft Word and then we paste just paste control V or you can go there and paste it uh, whatever method you use you can paste it using that paste so after pasting it there you have your text from your book so you can read it from here using your reader your text to speech reader and we highlight whatever you want to read and go now ahead and read it tax advisor to assist you in determining the way taxes applicable to your affairs transfer duty transfer duty is a form of tax that is payable to SARS in terms of the transfer duty act of age 949 there we go so you are able to read your text so you can repeatedly be doing that going back here get you another page but if you are you're like me you can use another program that can do that to you a macro uh, the best macro is workspace macro or automation anywhere this is a macro it you record and then it will do the the routine thing copying to to Microsoft Word all your pages and then read the book later I hope that this helps you to alleviate the problem that I was having not being able to read loud uh, my books so uh, there we go thank you very much